You're a man of action. You live life to the fullest, embrace your fears, and boldly chart your own path. When life knocks you down, you get back up one more time, every time. You are not easily deterred or defeated, rugged, resilient, but strong. This is your life. This is who you are. This is who you will become. At the end of the day, and after all is said and done, you can call yourself a man. Gentlemen, what is going on today? My name is Ryan Mickler, and I am the host and the founder of this podcast. I want to welcome you today to the manliest podcast available for men. That's what we're all about. We're helping you become a better man. Of course, I'm on my own journey, and I'm glad that hundreds of thousands of other men are on the journey with me. Uh, this is our Friday Field Notes, guys, where you get to listen to me and some of my ramblings from throughout the week. But we do have three shows per week now. It was two, and now it's three. This is the third show, but on Tuesdays, we have our interview show where we're interviewing the most successful men on the planet that I can find. Guys like Jocko Willink, Lewis Howes, Grant Cardone, Tim Kennedy, Andy Frasilla. I mean, you name it, we've just got an incredible lineup and I have done quite a few interviews over the past two weeks. I'm a little overwhelmed with as many as we've done, but man, we've got, like I said, just some incredible, incredible guests coming up. So if you haven't done this already, just make sure you subscribe so you never miss one of these episodes. We're talking about leadership. We're talking about communication. uh, We're talking about teamwork and self-development, physical fitness, uh, getting the right mindset, overcoming hurdles and obstacles and trials. We're having so many great conversations. And then the third show that we do every week is something that comes out on Wednesdays from one of our Iron Council members. His name is Everett Bubba Downs, and he hosts In the Trenches. And again, that comes out every Wednesday. That's about interviewing ordinary, everyday guys like you and me who are in the trenches, who are succeeding at certain things, who are still struggling in certain areas, and really just on the journey, actually in the trenches, on the journey to become a better man and doing those things every day. So those are the three shows that we have every single week. Again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single one of those. We're getting some really, really good feedback on what we put out there. And I'm glad that you're here. Whether you're here for the first time or you've been a longtime listener, uh, it's good to know that there's more men in this fight. Society needs it now more than ever, which is actually something we're going to talk about uh, today. But before I get into that, I do want to give you a couple of housekeeping items, a couple of announcements. Uh, The first one, a lot of guys want to know what's next. You know, they listen to the podcast, maybe they're on the Facebook page or the Instagram account, wherever it may be. And they're just asking, okay, Ryan, I get what we're doing here. I'm on board. I like the mission. What do we do next? Where do we go? And the next step from here is our exclusive brotherhood. It's called the Iron Council. I know a lot of you who are listening are familiar with it, at least to some degree, but it's pretty incredible to see the growth in the Iron Council over the past two or three weeks. One of the things that we just brought on board and we started doing, and in fact, we did this for the very first time this morning, was having an expert guest. Some of my podcast guests are just incredible, incredible men with so many good insights. And in the Iron Council, what we've done is we've allowed our brothers there to have access to these men through expert sessions that we run once a month. So we had Commander Rourke Denver, a Navy SEAL commander on this morning, and it was an incredible, incredible conversation. And that's exclusive to our members in the Iron Council. So if you want that, you want the brotherhood, the camaraderie, all the other things that we're doing, head to orderofman.com slash Iron Council And you can learn a little bit more about what we're up to there. So that is number one. Number two is the store. A lot of people don't know that we actually have a store. And this is a great way to look good, to get some tools that are going to help you on your own personal journey. And it's also a great way to support the show and support the movement that we have here within the order. So if you go to store.orderofman.com, we've got hats. We've got a few different shirts. We've got some new shirts coming out. We've got some patches. We've got a leather bound journal with the Order of Man embossed, the logo embossed on it. Uh, We've got a annual battle planning resource called the Battle Planner. Uh, There's so much good stuff over there. So check it out, store.orderofman.com. So that's it, guys. Those are my announcements. That's what we're all about here. I want to get right into this conversation. These Friday field notes are fast. They're quick. Hopefully, they're effective. And hopefully, you're going to walk away with a new perspective. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is this idea of responsibility. And we're going to talk about responsibility. We're going to talk about rights. But what I would ask you to do is please, please share this. This message of responsibility and rights is one that every single man on the planet needs to hear. And you're going to hear as I talk about this today, how needed this is in society. So I ask that you share this through 
Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you are, uh, send an email. Just let other men in your life, brothers, colleagues, coworkers, cousins, fathers, whoever it may be, what we're doing here within the mission of the Order of Man and share specifically this episode. I hope it's going to be a powerful one for you. Uh, what I want you to do and think about as we go through this is, is just take a look around in society. And I think that you'll agree with me that there seems to be more and more uh, men who are shirking their responsibilities as men. And, and I get it. I get it. I mean, there was a long time in my life where I did this too, and it's really easy to understand why. It's because it's harder. It's harder to accept responsibility. And, and that's at least initially. I'm going to talk more about that a little bit later. Uh, if you do accept some form of responsibility in your life, whether it's family or your physical fitness or career aspirations, what it means is that you're actually going to have to exert yourself. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to drive. You have to overcome some of these obstacles that will inevitably present themselves. You're going to have to go into the office a little bit earlier. You're going to have to stay a little bit longer. Uh, you'll miss the latest season of, I, I don't even know, Game of Thrones or whatever the series happens to be right now. It means that you're going to have to volunteer to help a neighbor in need, or maybe you're serving in your church or your community. Uh, it means you'll have to put away your, your own hobbies and help your child with his or her homework. Uh, it means that the hunting trip will have to wait because your business or your family needs some attention. And of course, when I put it that way, no sane or rational human being would want to accept more responsibility. So what do we do instead? What do we as a society do instead of accepting responsibility? Well, we complain and we gripe and we moan. And what do we gripe and moan about? Rights and entitlements. It's my right. It's my entitlement. And frankly, it's pathetic. Think about this. We've all heard this and maybe we've even said it. I know I have. It's my right to free health insurance. It's my right to a good job. Uh, I'm entitled to my wife's support. My boss owes me a promotion. You've all heard these things and most of us have probably said or at least thought some of these things as well. Uh, that company has to serve me the way that I want to be served. This is selfish. This line of, uh, of thinking is selfish. Uh, it's weak. But most importantly, it's a detriment to yourself and it's a detriment to society as a whole. Because what happens when the majority of people begin to demand quote unquote rights without a willingness to accept some responsibility, at least for securing those rights? I think we all know the answer to that question. And just in case you don't, the answer is it collapses. That's what happens to society. I did a podcast a couple of weeks ago on makers and takers. You can go back and listen to that a little bit. But in addition to these moral obligations that we have as men to serve, and I'm going to talk more on that here, here in a little bit. Accepting responsibility in your life, I believe, is the surest path. The surest path to long-term fulfillment and achievement. Any time in my life, whether through it was my, my military service, uh, career endeavors, fitness goals, family priorities, every time where I've accepted responsibility, life has always gotten better. Always. And here's the thing about men who shirk responsibility. They're weak, they're pathetic, and most importantly, guys, they know it. If you fall into this camp, you know that you're doing less than you're capable of. From my perspective, and I'm going to have to find the research to back this up, when a man knows that he's capable of more, yet doesn't do anything about it, he begins to experience the full brunt of his own inadequacies, physically, mentally, emotionally. But on the other hand, when a man knows he's capable of more and he raises his hand to accept that reality, he begins to forge a new destiny. He lays the foundation for progress in his life. When a man accepts responsibility, he equips himself with the mindset that he needs for growth and for achievement. When a man accepts responsibility, he tells himself and even the world that he is capable of stepping into the very thing that makes him a man. And the very thing that makes him and you and me and everybody who's listening to this podcast a man is service. At the core of what it means to be a man is to serve. Think about even our motto, protect, provide, preside. All three of those responsibilities have an element of service. See, most people believe that joy comes in others serving them. There's some destination where people will begin to serve you and that's when you'll be happy. 
but I've found that to be fun for a very, very short period of time. I have a difficult time, in fact, and I'm sure that you do as well, allowing other people to serve me. Why? Because why would I have other people serve me when I'm fully capable of serving myself? If you've ever thought that way or had that thought run through your mind, congratulations, you're a man. That's what it means to be a man. It's self-reliance and then it's service to others. We protect, we provide, we preside, which is synonymous with lead and leadership. We cannot step into those roles while at the same time complain about what rights we have and what we're entitled to and what we're owed. Men earn their accomplishments. Boys don't. Take your sons. If you have sons, for example, yeah, they may earn some money by doing some chores around the house, but at the end of the day, that burden of responsibility for your family, for them and you and your wife and everybody, it falls upon you, you as the head of the household. Now, what we see in society is a bunch of boys running around in men's bodies. They're doing just enough, just enough not to get fired. They still mooch off mommy and daddy and potentially still live at home. They expect their wives to go out into the workforce and do the work of men. They collect unemployment and other benefits that they didn't earn knowing full well they're capable of putting their own food on their own table. Then, and this is what makes it worse, they wonder why they don't feel fulfilled or satisfied or why people don't take them seriously. It's because you don't even take yourself seriously. Why should anyone else either? If you want to call yourself a man, lead yourself. Serve yourself. Then work to serve others. Here's the problem, guys. Society says that it's okay that you act like a lazy, immature, pathetic, mediocre slob. We see this when we don't allow our children to fail, and we even reward them for simply showing up. We recite these cute little phrases like, showing up is half the battle. No, showing up is the ticket to entry. It's nothing more. It's nothing less. It's not half the battle. It's not even the battle. It's not part of the battle. We see this when we allow uh, government handouts to be divvied up to anyone indefinitely without any requirements or accountability. We give unemployment benefits to fully qualified men and women. We allow bankruptcies to wipe away and absolve any poor financial choices. We forgive, we forget, we strip citizens of the benefits of the negative consequences of their choices. Think about that for a second. I said benefit, benefit of the negative consequences consequences of their choices. And that benefit of experiencing the full brunt of your poor choices is that you learn not to do it again. But if you're saved and you're rescued every time you do something dumb, you're going to continue to do dumb things. There are so many weak people in society. It's hard for me to even bear at times. Everyone wants to save people from themselves. Oh, what if they make a mistake? We need to rescue them. They'll cry with these big tears from their eyes. No, what you need to do is let people rescue themselves through the action of taking responsibility. We are too quick, guys, too quick in my mind to discount human ingenuity, human resolve, and resilience. But look, I get it. I understand. I know this sounds like I'm on a soapbox and I'm preaching this stuff to you guys, but I understand because life is hard. There are days that I want to curl up in my bed and frankly do nothing, but that isn't really an option for me. Why? Because I've raised my hand and I've said that I am a man and a man acts like a man, which means that he gets out of bed. He does what it needs to be done for himself and for his family. He does his work with honor. He takes pride in what he does. He serves those in his community and under his care and he earns everything he has. This isn't easy. I get it. It's hard to exert yourself. Anytime we strive to do something great, there's going to be forces and friction working against us. That's what makes it so hard. But here's the deal. You get to choose your hard. You can take the easy path now and defer the full fury of your weak choices down the road, or you can decide to take the hard path Today, the hard path right now, and I'm not talking about doing things just for the sake of being hard. I'm talking about doing the things you know you should be doing now, today, 
When you do, life has a way of becoming more enjoyable, more fulfilling, more rewarding, and of course, more achievement that comes with it. Life is going to be hard. That's guaranteed. But you, again, get to choose your hard. Do you voluntarily say, I will take the hard path now. I will accept responsibility for my life and those people under my care. Or do you put it off and put it off and put it off and live a life less than you're capable of? I hope that you and everybody who's going to listen to this makes the right choice because Lord knows that we need it now more than ever among men. So guys, that's the message I wanted to share. Obviously, on my soapbox, a little fired up about this. I've been thinking about it for the past week and and significantly longer, why we neglect and shirk these responsibilities. And I think if we want to reclaim truly what it means to be a man, then part of that journey, a large part of that journey is to begin to accept responsibility and not rely so heavily upon the rights that we think we deserve. So guys, that's all I have for you today. A couple of just quick announcements as I wind down. I mentioned the Brotherhood, the Iron Council. We're learning about this. We're learning how to take responsibility. You've got the tools and the accountability and the resources and the guidance and the direction and the expert guests that come on once a month. It's really, truly an incredible brotherhood of guys working together, banding together and doing some amazing things. So if you're interested in that, orderofman.com slash iron council. I also mentioned the store. If you want to see what we have, I particularly like all the hats that we have. I think we've got about five or six different iterations of order of man hats. So if you're a hat guy, that's a good place to check out. If you want a shirt patch, whatever it may be store.orderofman.com. So guys, I will sign out with that today. Remember just, just work on accepting responsibility. Stop relying upon this weak idea of rights and what people owe me and instead take the higher calling, which is responsibility. So with that said, make it a great week, make it a great weekend. Until next week, take action and become the man you are meant to be. Thank you for listening to the Order of Man podcast. If you're ready to take charge of your life and be more of the man you were meant to be, we invite you to join the order at orderofman.com.